Hello everybody, same spot as the other previous videos. I just find this a really nice spot to sit and watch the water go by. There's a, a creek that runs on the side of our property and I'm sitting out watching that. So, um, or listening to that, should I say, I'm actually watching the camera. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the seven year regeneration, which, um, you know, anyone that understands anatomy and um, the chemistry of the human body understands that every seven years the body's cells have regenerated. What a lot of them don't understand is that the regeneration of that cellular life actually depends on the memory of those cells and it's all to do with replication and a whole lot of scientific stuff, which I won't go into here because I don't want it to be too boring. But in the kind of um, main point of all of that is that when DNA is replicated it actually takes some of the memory or some of the useless bits of information that um, usually would drop off in the replication of DNA um, and then it takes some of that memory into the uh, replication of the next DNA strands and cells well, they do a very similar thing when they um, divide and become new cells. So when we think about that and we think about our health, what actually tends to happen is, um, and I've seen this anecdotally, um, I haven't seen a lot of research on this because I guess there's not a lot of funding out there for it or whatever the case might be. Um, but what I have noticed is that, and a lot of other um, practitioners of, um, natural healing have noticed is that every seven years people either become sicker or they become better and it tends to be to do with how their lifestyle is so if they're living a really healthy lifestyle for at least the last two years of that seven year um, changeover or that seven year regeneration then they tend to actually get better in their illness depending on what it is of course but um, we're talking about chronic um, illnesses here or chronic imbalances or chronic um, problems that they might have actually improve in that seven year regeneration if they've been looking after themselves um, on as little pharmaceuticals as possible that kind of thing if they haven't been doing too well, their diet hasn't been very good, they haven't been doing much exercise, they've been very sedentary, they've been taking a lot of pharmaceutical um, things to try and improve symptoms or whatever the case might be, then they tend to get worse, which is a really interesting phenomenon and I'm kind of wondering if any of you on YouTube land have actually noticed this as any kind of um, you know, you don't even have to be a practitioner, I guess, to notice it, but it's very interesting. And this sort of effect can actually happen in healthy people as well, where they will develop um, health problems within that seven years. So it could be hormonal, um, or it could be totally systemic, or it could be um, part of the circulatory system. It, it's most commonly... Um, GI tract issues uh, that's a really common one that develops in that seven year um, re regeneration um, but yeah a lot of skin conditions that kind of thing so it can affect people in all kinds of different ways um, but it just seems to be interesting that it's kind of when they're on that um, year of their life where they've had that regeneration of their body uh, their cellular regeneration so yeah I was just on here to kind of talk a little bit about that and maybe why I am so conscious of what I'm doing in my own body so that I don't make my own condition worse and in some cases in the seven year changeover or the seven year regeneration it's actually been made better um, the number seven is actually really quite an interesting number as well if you're uh, in the know on Yeshua or Jesus, whatever um, name that you use. 
his number is seven. So that's really quite interesting, isn't it? That we regenerate um, every seven years. So yeah, basically that's where I was heading with this conversation. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about the changes in me now because I'm sure you saw that in the previous video that I'm actually doing really well. I'm actually about to go and do some work in the garden and stuff, which I wasn't able to do a month ago. So, um, and I'm sure you can see that there's a difference in my skin and things like that so yeah i'm not going to talk too much about that but i just kind of you know i'm turning 35 and i was just thinking about that today the the regeneration effect that it has on our bodies um and wondered if any of you had experienced it or maybe you know you haven't thought about it before or maybe you're turning 35 or you're in that you know 7 14 that kind of you know um age group 21 you know all those sorts of changes and you've noticed something maybe that is different uh, maybe you're 28 and you've noticed something that's changing um, or maybe you've noticed something every regeneration which i have definitely noticed um, in my own regeneration so when i was seven i was actually diagnosed with epilepsy uh, which is interesting um, was that something that i was doing before that to develop that condition I don't know because I don't really remember what kind of diet I had but I think I ate fairly well um, back then but maybe there was something environmentally going on that impacted that cellular regeneration and then by age 14 the epilepsy went away so there was improvement there uh, which is interesting and 21 I was actually quite sick and then 28 I was really well again um, I won't go into too much detail on that because it's quite personal but it was pretty stressful in that 21 um yeah pretty pretty unwell very unwell actually um not sure if i was going to make 22 that kind of unwell so there was that and then uh 28 i was really really healthy and doing really well so yeah it can go either way and i'm kind of wondering what your experience is with it have you noticed a change in you in that seven year um regeneration of your cellular life and um, what was what were those changes if you did notice any and you know can you think of things that you might have been doing that may have improved or uh, made things a little bit more difficult for yourself and um, also that there's always hope as long as you've got breath in your lungs um, to get through things I mean I know that a lot of you have followed me for a while on YouTube and followed the gardens, followed the cooking and followed these videos where I've just been talking at the camera and you've been looking at my mug for <laughs> a while. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what your thoughts are on that, what you're thinking about um, the seven year regeneration is. Have you experienced anything, um, any changes in yourself? You know, from when you turned seven, maybe you had some diagnosis that was really left to field and not expected, or maybe when you were 14 or 21, or, you know, just keep <laughs> keep going up in the sevens, um, or maybe even older than that. Maybe you had a change later in life. Um, but yeah, just, just wondering what your thinking is on that um, and what your experiences are, because I think it's really important to share with each other what we're what's happening um, whether we're, we're going through something really awesome or whether maybe we're facing up to something that's not so great um, I think it's really cool that we can share and um, you know we can pray for each other and we can do those kinds of things on a, on a YouTube community or a social media community in general and uh, yeah just keep each other's hope alive I guess is the moral of the story so let me know what you're thinking and um, I'll see you in the next video.